Hey what's going on guys, my name is Marfa Mim. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create this beautiful ripped paper effect using Elementor Flexbox. It would be a very creative way to showcase your picture on your website. So without further ado, let's go inside Elementor. By the way, in this tutorial, we will be using Elementor Flexbox container. So make sure from your WordPress dashboard, from Elementor settings, go to the experiments tab and make sure the flexbox option is turned on okay let's now go back inside elementor let's take a container by clicking on this plus icon i will be taking this one now let's give it a height to minimum height i'm selecting to vh let's take 100 from under items the align items let's make it centered and justify content i'm making it to center now let's select the left container i'm gonna take the width to 40 percent and to the right container i'm gonna take here 60. now let's select the left container go to its advanced tab unbind the padding make it percent i'm gonna take here on the left eight percent then go to rubik's cube icon i'm dragging this heading widget here i'm gonna change the text to my text then from Rubik's Cube icon, let's take the text editor under here. Again, I'm gonna go to the Rubik's Cube icon and take this button widget here. Alright, now select the right container. I'll be taking image widget here. So go to the Rubik's Cube icon, drag this image widget here. Let's now select the image. I'm selecting this one, then insert. I will provide you the image download link in the description. Now go to its style tab. I'm gonna take 100% of width and 400 pixel of height. Then from object fit, I'm making it to cover. Now let's from here duplicate this image. Now let's replace the second image with ripped paper image. Let's now choose the image. I'm choosing this one. This is the ripped image. Now let's insert it. Okay. Let's now do the magic part. And to do it, we need to apply a bit of CSS with the second image. Now let's go under its advanced tab. Open the custom CSS field. By the way, custom CSS is only available on Elementor Pro. I'll put my Elementor Pro affiliate link in the description. If you purchase Elementor Pro through the affiliate link, you don't have to pay any extra, but we will get a little commission for that. That will help us to continue this YouTube channel and make more interesting tutorials like this. Now to take the CSS snippet, we can simply go to jimfahaddigital.com. I will put the pages link in the description. From under ripped paper CSS, copy this whole snippet, go back to Elementor page builder and paste it here. Awesome! Here I have given the brightness to 1.2. You can change it according to your picture like here I'm giving 1.5. You see, it changes. But I wanna go back to the previous one. Now we need to check out its responsiveness. Click on this responsive mode. It's looking great on desktop. On tablet, it's looking good. And on mobile device, we need to fix some stuffs. Select this image. I will be using navigator, so open it. Select the first image. Let's take its height to 300 pixel. And now let's select the second image. I'm gonna do same with the second one. Let's take 300 pixel. Now I just wanna reverse their order. The image will go on top and the top area will go underneath. Select the first container from here. Here from order, I'm selecting to end. Alright, select the main container. Let's make its minimum height to 80 VH only for the mobile device. Let's close the navigator. Also close this one. When you're happy with your work, don't forget to click on this green update button. I hope you have learned something new today. If you like it, please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Also, press on that notification bell icon to get notified before anyone whenever we will upload a new video on this YouTube channel. Also, if you want us to help you on your WordPress project or Elementor project, then you can contact us through our website 
that's jimfahaddigital.com we will try our best to help you once again thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video for now bye bye